This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Water Pump Replacement Pull the hood release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Raise the hood upwards. Loosen the cable bolt on the negative battery terminal, then disconnect the negative battery cable. Position the cable aside to prevent accidental reconnection. Cooling system flushing. Fill the cooling system with clean water. Install the expansion tank cap. Start the engine and allow it to reach normal operating temperature, then rev up the engine a few times. Turn the engine off and allow it to cool completely. Open the radiator drain plug. Allow the contaminated water to drain completely. Close and tighten the drain plug. Repeat this cooling system flushing process until the water being drained is free of contaminants. For the removal of the main accessory drive belt, place a wrench on the main drive belt tensioner pulley center bolt and rotate the tensioner clockwise to release the tension on the belt. Slip the belt off of an accessible pulley, then slowly release the tensioner to its stopping point. Remove the drive belt from the various accessory pulleys, noting how it's routed. Remove the main drive belt tensioner. Disconnect and remove the hoses from the water pump. Label the hoses to ensure correct reconnection if necessary. Remove the water pump mounting bolts. Remove the water pump from the front of the engine. It may be necessary to tap the pump with a soft-faced hammer to break the gasket seal. Remove the gaskets from the pump or engine if they're stuck. Then compare the new pump and replacement gaskets to the old ones to make sure that they're identical. Remove all old gasket material or sealant from the engine and water pump mating surfaces. Apply a thin film of RTV sealant to hold the new gaskets in place during installation. The O-rings on the gaskets should also be coated with clean coolant. Install the water pump onto the engine and thread in the mounting bolts. Tighten the water pump bolts a little at a time to the specified torque settings. If the water pump does not come with a new thermostat and cover, it will have to be swapped onto the new water pump. Clean the sealing surfaces of all old gasket material and debris. Install a new rubber seal onto the thermostat, aligning the outer tab with the air bleed valve. Install the thermostat in the housing cover, making sure the tab on the rubber seal aligns into the notch. Install the thermostat and cover onto the engine, threading in the mounting bolts. Tighten the thermostat housing cover bolts to the specified torque setting. Reconnect the hoses to their correct locations on the water pump and thermostat housing.
Secure the hoses with the hose clamps. Install the main drive belt tensioner. Tighten the main tensioner bolts to the specified torque setting. For the installation of the main accessory drive belt, loosely route the main drive belt into the various pulleys. Rotate the tensioner to allow the belt to be slipped onto the remaining pulley. Then release the tensioner to apply tension to the belt. Make sure the belt is centered into all the pulley grooves. Install the air intake duct. Engage the intake duct retaining grommets, then connect the mass airflow sensor electrical connector. Tighten the hose clamps at each side securely. The routing of the drive belts on this model should be as pictured. Connect the negative battery cable to the battery terminal and tighten the bolts securely. Cooling system filling. Lower the car to the ground. Unblock the wheels. Place the heater temperature control in the maximum heat position. Slowly add new coolant, which consists of a 50-50 mixture of water and DEX cool coolant to the expansion tank until the level reaches the full cold line. Install the expansion tank cap. Start and run the engine at idle for two minutes periodically raising the engine RPM to 2500 to 3000 RPM. Turn the engine off and let it cool completely. Slowly remove the expansion tank cap and add more coolant mixture to bring the level back up to the full cold line. Install the cap.